Today we will discuss DC Profiles. In this episode, we will discuss Cruddy Murda from Paradise Apartments. Cruddy Murda is a rapper from the Northeast J Street side of DC who can be seen with another Paradise rapper named Smacky Chan. Back in the day, Paradise is currently at war with a lot of different hoods throughout the district, and one of the hoods they are at war with. Heavily is 37th some years back. After 37th killed Cruddy Murda best friend June from Saratoga, Paradise affiliates and 37th would go back and forth on live. This would start the war between these two hoods and cause a big divide in the city. Paradise youngins go by the name YP, which stands for Young Painters. Cruddy Murda mentions them in songs a lot, and these are the youngins he sends on missions and to get cars. These youngins are also very active in the war going on in the district and are not afraid to say it in their music. Paradise is at war with another hood named Kenilworth that is down the street from Paradise and members from Paradise spin Kenilworth very often. Why you keep saying Joan name though, bro? Like, damn, bro, get off my mind, bitch. They said J Mo wasn't he stayed playing basketball. I ain't even gonna lie, nigga said they don't even know only know him because of basketball. Nigga said they met him at run and shoot. All my men that even said they know him said they met him like with the basketball in his hand, like literally, like really with the ball in his hand, like. No, I remember J Mo now. This the nigga that they kept telling me from Chavez that played basketball that was like that. Well, they said, bro, they said that nigga was like that at Chavez then. I think he seen me. Somebody seen me one day at Chavez from the yo. We played football and shit. They transferred schools on me. I didn't even know he was from the yo, though. I didn't know he was from the yo. I ain't even saying shit to j no more. They, my old head just pulled me up. They, they like you used to be out here, all this uh, you know shit. Yeah, you hear me? Oh, yeah. 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 j -Mo, stop playing, bro. Like, I want to nah, bro. Yeah, like, bro. Stop fuck that shit, bro. Yeah, stop like, playing, J-Mo. Nah, nah, Jamie, bro. Jamie. Jamie. Oh, yeah, fuck Jamie. that shit, Jamie. Jamie. No funny, cuz. No funny. Like, fuck that shit, Jamie. Oh, he Jamie. I'm Michael Myers. Ah, 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 ah. Hey, twin, stop calling me, twin. <laughs> <laughs> twin, stop it, twin. Hey, look, look at twin. Look, look, y'all. He told me that was creative. This stop. the type of shit, look. This the type of shit they want to do, This the type of shit bro. he do. That nigga twin was a male stripper, man. We gonna cut the games. That nigga was a male stripper, man. Him and his brother was young male strippers, man. They was pimping. The models ain't, man. Them niggas male strippers. Them niggas, them niggas got two piece brown thumb sets in they dresser, man. Last time a nigga from Paradise died was 2016, and guess what? Niggas. Hey, you don't think niggas getting stepped on about Jun? You high as shit. <laughs> That's why he baby Jane. Yeah, walk standing yeah. on through pistol. Walk on down him. through pistol, tall too lit. He's standing on he that. He's standing, he standing on that. He's standing on that. All them niggas, every time, time they go to, the, I swear to God, <laughs> I ain't wishing. <laughs> Fuck bro shit. Since you wanna talk all this broke shit, all this and that, I got more money than no savage on GQ grave. I got more money than no savage. <laughs> fuck you talking about? I got way more money than no savage, nigga. Fuck you talking about no savage. I'm gonna buy AP the mama spend a whole 50 online, nigga. I'ma have a whole 50 tall this way, nigga. I'ma show you what you should have did. Savage probably crying right now. Savage probably real live. Going three parts. Him and Shaw on three way right now. <laughs> <laughs>
He want to trade to you and he's trade off boys. He called Shy right now. Shy like, bro, don't trip off him. I'm gonna get that nigga, bro. I'm gonna go over to get him. I know you. I know you punching the shit out. Hey, there. first of all, time out. Hey. Oh, no funny shit. My, I had to go to sleep and wake back up. Oh, my, I had to go to sleep and wake back up. Y'all niggas out here be dick riding. You niggas out here be dick riding. You hear me? Oh, my, you niggas don't eat thug in your own hoods. You niggas bitches. My, I hate y'all niggas out here, bruh. Rap niggas, that's why y'all don't get nowhere. Oh, my, that's why you ain't got no deals. That's why you ain't got nothing. You don't get no way off rapping because you niggas bitches. Oh, my. That's why. Fuck is you talking about? My, every youngin' around me who rap nigga going somewhere. Fuck is you talking about? Y'all niggas dick rap. My Jenkins, bruh. I'm not arguing with none of you niggas out here. Oh, my. You niggas is cap ass niggas. You rap ass niggas don't want no problems with Savage. Oh, my soul. It was never that. My, you niggas could never call out nothing when you press me. My, you can't call out nothing when you bitch me. Oh, my. None of you niggas ain't trying to go there with me at all. Oh, my. Stop capping. I see a lot of niggas been jumping out there saying they gonna take their chances with Savage. Oh, my. I'm just giving y'all the truth. Oh, bruh, that ain't the right route to take. My, it ain't. If you want some smoke on my, nigga, let me know. My, don't do no capping shit on the gram. Come see what's up with me, my, because a lot of you niggas, on my, a lot of you niggas see me in person, be my friend, and then when you get on Instagram, it's a different story. You a bitch for that, on my soul. What's up? Now, we will get into the arrest of Cruddy Murda after he allegedly sold a fentanyl 30 to a young mother, causing her to pass, and police would raid a spot he had finding more fentanyl 30s and a blast the United States of America. By and through its attorney, the United States Attorney for the District of Columbia, respectfully submits this opposition to Defendant Columbian, Thomas's Appeal of Order of Detention, ECF number 127. The defendant has been charged with conspiracy to distribute and possess, with intent to distribute 400 grams or more of a mixture and substance containing fentanyl, which carries a 10-year mandatory minimum sentence. He has also been charged with possession of a machine gun, during and in relation to a drug trafficking offense, that is, the drug conspiracy, which carries a 30-year mandatory minimum sentence that must run consecutive to another conviction. Thus, there is a rebuttable presumption that no conditions or combinations of conditions can effectively ensure the defendant's appearance, in this case, and otherwise protect the community, pursuant to 18 U.S.C. paragraph 3142 a 3 a and b. The government respectfully requests that the following points and authorities, as well as any other facts, arguments, and authorities presented at the detention hearing, be considered in the court's determination regarding pretrial detention. By March 22, 2023, Craig, Taylor, and Valdez were all in custody. All three are detained pending trial. On April 6, 2023, the indictment was superseded to include, among others, Raymond Nava Jr. and Max Carias Torres. Both Torres and Nava are California-based upstream suppliers to Valdez. On April 26, 2023, both Torres and Nava were arrested in Los Angeles and are also detained pending trial. The defendant's role in the conspiracy is that he is a DC-based distributor of fentanyl-laced pills who was acquiring his supply from Valdez in Los Angeles. The evidence against the defendant includes a considerable number of communications between him and Valdez, thanks to Valdez's phones being seized and searched after his arrest about acquiring thousands of fentanyl-laced pills. For example, in text messages extracted from co-defendant Valdez's phone, the defendant is observed directing Valdez to mail packages to designated addresses in Washington, D.C. After doing so, the two co-conspirators, the defendant in blue and Valdez in green, discuss methods of payment and proof of shipment. This above exchange between Valdez and the defendant is indicative of several such exchanges. Apple Pay transfers from the Colombian to Valdez further bear out evidence of their business arrangement, as the defendant sent at least six dollars to Valdez via Apple Pay alone. The defendant also made a trip to California to visit Valdez for resoplias of counterfeit OxyContin pills. For example, on October 18, 20 or two though, the defendant traveled to Los Angeles informing Valdez that the defendant was landing at 7 to Westos p.m. and requesting a ride from LAX. Valdez agreed and then made the following inquiry. Valdez, 
Yeah, you going to shop with me? Colombian. Duh, I always do. Valdez. I pops, how many did you need? Colombian. What you charging me? Valdez. Shit, TBH, get more than six. I'll do 75 cents. Colombian. Brah, I always get more than six. Valdez. Okay, well, I'll do 75 cents. Valdez. You getting the joints in right or just taking you to your hotel? Colombian. Right now. The defendant then shares his location with Valdez. Similar to the text exchanges regarding shipments from Valdez to the defendant, the above exchange is just one such example of multiple text exchanges, suggesting trips by the defendant to Los Angeles to purchase counterfeit OxyContin. The defendant was apprehended by law enforcement on June 2, 2023. During a search of his residence in Crofton, MD, in which he and his female acquaintance were located at the time of his arrest, law enforcement discovered in a bedroom closet a loaded Glock 21.45 caliber handgun equipped with an extended magazine containing 21 rounds, an additional live round in the chamber, and a switch designed to make the weapon fire in a fully automatic capacity. The firearm has since been test-fired and confirmed to be a machine gun. Also discovered was a baggie containing approximately 201, or about 21.8 grams of, blue M30 pills, which tested positive in the lab for fentanyl. Photographs of these recoveries are displayed in the below images. The photo immediately below shows where the firearm, top red circle and pills, bottom red circle, were found. Officials seized thousands of counterfeit pills laced with fentanyl, along with cash and guns, as part of a multi-agency investigation that has now resulted in more than 20 people, most of them from our area, charged in what prosecutors say was a nationwide conspiracy to sell the deadly drug to unsuspecting people. This was a conspiracy that flooded the District of Columbia with fake pills containing fentanyl, dangerously marked, as they so often are, with M30 imprints to resemble legally manufactured oxycodone. As alleged, these co-conspirators brought large quantities of fentanyl pills into our community, largely from California, smuggling them on planes and shipping them through the mail. The investigation began after the death of 20-year-old Diamond Lynch, a young mother who overdosed in 2021 after taking a pill laced with fentanyl. The brother and sister who sold Lynch those drugs have already been charged and convicted in her death. U.S. Attorney Matthew Graves said these new defendants had enough pills to kill thousands. In this case alone, we have seized to date over 20 kilograms of fentanyl powder and approximately a quarter million pills. We know that drug trafficking on this scale is a magnet for violence, and we have predictably also seized a large number of firearms, over 30 firearms to date, including six machine guns. Graves noted this year more people have died from fentanyl overdoses in the district than homicides. As of today, there have been 247 homicides in D.C., compared to nearly 300 deadly overdoses as of the end of July. Ann Milgram with the Drug Enforcement Administration called fentanyl the most devastating drug crisis our nation has ever seen. Fentanyl is the greatest threat to Americans today. It is devastating families across our country and killing Americans from all walks of life. And it is the leading cause of death today in the United States for Americans between the age of 18 and 45. In the district, Mark Seagraves, News 4. Now, here is what is so complicating about this, this issue. It's almost impossible to tell the difference between real prescription oxycodone and the counterfeit pills that are laced with fentanyl that's out there on the streets. The district's Department of Behavioral Health distributes free fentanyl test strips and free naloxone, which can be used to save someone who's experiencing an overdose. That's the end of this episode of DC Profiles. Like, comment, subscribe, follow Stroffing DMV on Instagram. 350 likes for next episode.